I have a confession to make. Thanks to the unnamed global event that suddenly gave all of us a lot more free time than we had originally booked in 2020, I have finally played Persona 3. And I feel confident in saying that I think the best way of describing it is Hot Topic, the video game. And before you think that's unfair of me to say, I would like to ask, how else would you describe a game about fashionable, angsty teens obsessed with death that, you know, activate their special powers by pointing fake revolvers at their head and pulling the trigger while staring at you forlornly? I didn't see the option to purchase any guy liner at the police station, but I know if it was there and I equipped it, I'm pretty confident it would have increased my total SP by 40%. Is that what SP stands for? Sad points? Now I could spend the rest of this video trying to support my thesis by going off on a tear about how the main character dyes his hair blue and quaffs it like he's about to take over lead vocal duties on My Chemical Romance, or point out just how many party members' plot lines feature a I hate you dad moment somewhere in its runtime, or point out how the game's interpretation of the Grim Reaper looks like the insignia for a metalcore band. But I think that would do this game, and my extended metaphor by extension, a grave disservice. I know saying Persona 3 equals Hot Topic sounds like a sick burn, bro, but here's the thing that everyone forgets. Hot Topic had some pretty amazing <laughs> Hot Topic meant something to each of us because beneath all that teenage angst emo bull, we all found something really special there. Maybe it introduced you to a band or a brand or a badass niche market video game or anime series that changed your life. Or maybe you already discovered your life-changing piece of niche pop culture, and Hot Topic simply offered you an officially licensed merchandise solution to display said fandom on your body in order to help attract a like-minded tribe. Or maybe you were just a really, really big fan of thrice Deftones and the receiving end of Sirens, and in 2006, Hot Topic sponsored a way for you to actually physically see every band you ever cared about for one low ticket price your allowance could actually afford. You know, Hypothetically. Ironically, during that exact same year, Persona 3 launched over in Japan. And just like Hot Topic, beneath all of P3's teenage angst emo bull is something really special. At its most basic level, Persona 3 offered a complete redesign of its entire series, away from its Shin Megami Tensei main series roots and into its own living, breathing animal. One of the chief geniuses of Persona 3 is how it mashes up two distinct gameplay styles, JRPG dungeon crawling and a high school life sim, into a single pitch-perfect remixed package. As anyone who's ever had to grind for XP on a World of Warcraft would know, too much of either of these gameplay modes in a row without a break starts to feel tiring. But Persona 3's genius is that it somehow knows exactly when that tiredness is going to set in and seamlessly switches you from one gameplay style to another. Just like a perfectly balanced Thanksgiving dinner plate, it's this delicate balance of flavors to bounce back and forth between that lets you continue chowing down on Persona 3's tasty bounty far longer than you could on any single entree item. Sure, there were still some gameplay kinks to work out in future installments, but pretty much everything we collectively love and what makes Persona games Persona games comes from P3, not its predecessors. Honestly, it's surprising just how much of it was already there in one game, no iterations required. It just sprung from the minds of Atlas fully formed like Athena from the head of Zeus. Of course, Persona 3 doesn't just shine in its gameplay mechanic innovations. Equally, if not more important, are its characters and storyline. And sure, some of the dialogue writing can be a little on the nose and or slightly edgelordy, but boy does it stick the landing in the parts that count. I think the single most impressive thing about Persona 3's story world is that it is not safe. Actions have consequences. Plot armor doesn't save people. Characters make hard decisions, and the story does not sugarcoat the repercussions. And without getting into plot spoilers, thematically, its story culminates in this amazing celebration of complicated characters defining their human value by the beautiful brevity of life that makes it meaningful. Its characters find existential value in choosing to do the right thing, even if that sacrifice seems meaningless. Now, could the plot have set up the table of the third act a little better so it doesn't feel so tacked on at the end? Well, sure, but you could say the same thing about HBO's Game of Thrones, and that both made and cost a gajillion dollars. So is it really fair to hold a spin-off series of a then underknown JRPG to a higher standard? Also, the music is very good. Just like my fond memories of Hot Topic, I expect that over time, I will completely forget any of these extremely minor annoyances I experienced playing Persona 3. And what's gonna stick with me from my playthrough 
is its heart. Somehow, this game found a way to introduce me to one of my favorite bands, brands, and niche market video game series all in one sleek package. And as we all know, everyone calls that feat a Hot Topic hat trick. What? No, literally no one says that. <laughs>